You often say that a belief is just a thought that we keep thinking. And I often wonder how far to extend that. You know, I have a belief that the Earth rotates once every 24 hours and a triangle has three angles and human beings need protein and all these interesting beliefs that I've picked up along my lifetime that sometimes can be like over the last 10 years, I've accumulated a lot of beliefs about nutrition and exercise and lifestyle and what we need to do to be healthy and what we need to do to look good and all this stuff. And it can become a bit obsessive and oppressive, but it can also at times be really interesting to dig into these details and um, sometimes I wonder... When it's it, interesting, your inner being's with you. When it's oppressive, your inner being isn't. In other words, you could use your guidance to know which thoughts jive with broader perspective and which ones don't. That's which, been occurring to me, yeah. Which ones are true basis of understanding. You know that reality is constantly morphing into other things. Some might say, well, there is pretty good proof that the earth is revolving as I've described it or that there are three sides to a triangle but we want to remind you that the manifestations of things they're just following thought trends so there are plenty of things that people are observing in current society that they are thinking about and believing and therefore perpetuating that they would rather not live there are truths proofs, evidences that they would rather not live. We want to call your attention to the truths in your vibrational vortex that in every case you do want to live and that your source energy is supporting. So we're just encouraging a direction of attention. We know you have a, a, an important thing that you're getting at and we're going to let you get to it. So, like, let's. See, I, like, I like the example of the whole nutritional information thing because it's it's a personal example for me. Over the last, um, really, around the time I was twenty, I just memorized a bunch of facts and rules about what is and isn't healthy, and what supplements do what, and how much exercise you need at what time, and all this junk. And it occurs to me that maybe, you know, I for for a long time I based. <laughs> Here's the thing. What if, from where you stand, that the gathering of that information is the path of least resistance and therefore is serving you? But what if, once you've ridden that vehicle for a ways, that your intentionality is such that now it's time for another vehicle? The question that we want to put back to you is, are you willing to allow your belief system to evolve with your desires? Are you willing to be the adaptive being that you are born to be? Because there are a lot of things that your society or humanity has once believed that no longer apply, but they were there when you needed them. Those beliefs were there and served you because sometimes a beginning of a belief, which is all you can find, it serves you to get to the next place where you can launch a further desire. But then that beginning belief is no longer a vehicle that is serving you. And so to hold to something for the sake of holding to it out of tradition or because my mother thought that or because whatever, there is a better guidance coming forth from within you that will always guide you to the vortex version, which is always the new and improved vehicle that you're reaching for. I love the idea of moving from one vehicle to the next. Yeah. And I think the only thing holding me back from fully doing that, because there's definitely new vehicles pulling up for me to get into, is uh, the evidence from the old vehicles. Like, and w I wonder, was all that evidence, all those studies that I read, were they just a manifestation of some vibration that I had going on at the yeah. time and are not necessarily true to what I'll experience next? They were evidence of what you had going on and in many cases were your path of least resistance to get you to a further place but they are not a belief that will serve you for all of the days of your life because you are an evolving being let myself off the hook of yeah. the pressures I used to put on myself based on those old a nice thing to say is it was there when I needed it it was the clarity that I found 
that served me really well but now I stand in a clear place this is the way it goes will be very brief you know what you don't want so you launch a rocket about what you do want there's always a gap so you focus upon what you do want and you close that gap and now you've only got one vibration and now your point of attraction is such that you attracted and now you've attracted or accomplished or created what you set out to accomplish but you also now have a whole new vantage point with a whole new set of contrasting experiences from which to create so now a whole new set of contrasting experiences causes you to launch another rocket of desire and so it's always that way and at no point does it serve you to go back to those beginning things that's what I thought that's nice to hear um, cool and let's take this a little step further so you got that really well you felt that click into place can you imagine what your inner being knows about you that you're not ready to believe can you imagine what your inner being knows about your potential your potential for metabolism your potential for stability your potential for cellular reproduction can you imagine what your inner being knows that you're not ready to believe because the current evidence doesn't support this belief but the vibrational evidence does yeah that's why things move forward rather slowly with humans you want to use what has already manifested as your evidence for what will manifest eh. <laughs> that will only get you more of what's already manifested but there is all kinds of new vibrational evidence that will take you to whole new manifestations like people getting along with each other and like the dominant vibration being one of harmony and like groups of people coming together with all of their knowledge that they've gathered from all their time and working together in cooperation to make things better not worse there are all kinds of possibilities that now reality doesn't support